Hey y'all, I'm Elisa the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com and today I have a fun video for you using the Tinsel Tags set from Kelly Bangs available over at Illustrated Faith. And I am going to use these adorable tags to create an advent ring for my kiddos for the month of December. So I will make sure to link any supplies that I use down below. Otherwise, I'm going to put you on fast forward. Let's go. These tags were actually super easy to make. So I printed two sets of each page on just my regular inkjet printer. I like to print on 32 pound white paper. So it's not quite cardstock level because I did want to be able to put it through my typewriter, which you can see right there. I added a verse to each tag, one for each day of Advent. There are lots of different scripture reading plans that you can find online for Advent. I chose one that was specifically for kids. So I will definitely link it below. And it just had one verse per day. Like I said, it's meant to kind of spark some discussion in the mornings during Advent, um, just to kind of center our day and start it off on the right foot. There is definitely enough room on these tags that you could handwrite your scriptures if you would like, or you could um, print them out on your computer, cut them down and paste them on. There's lots of different ways to kind of find a place to add the scripture onto the tags. One thing that I was being really careful of was to double check and make sure that I was cutting them out in the correct order, keeping them in the correct order, because I didn't want to get uh, parts of the Christmas story mixed up because I knew that would kind of confuse my kiddos. So I'm being really careful that I cut them in the right order. You can probably see that my pages look a little bit different in order to put them through my typewriter. Um, since they are oriented in the landscape, way I had to cut them and trim them just to fit through my typewriter but it all worked out and I had a system to try to keep them in order and I luckily did not mix it up but I also had printed the scriptures on my computer so that I could double check the order um, before I actually put them on the ring. All right, I put together my first couple of tags and they are turning out super cute. So I will put you guys on fast forward, show you how I put together a couple of those and then we will jump to the finished product. Let's do it. Okay, so step one is I will take a tag and I'm going to use my scissors to kind of carve out the bottom half of this circle right here. If you had a razor blade or a sharp edge, that would be really helpful, maybe an X-Acto knife, but I'm just popping up the bottom part of that circle. And that's gonna be the little piece that keeps my door in place. Cause I wanted these tags to be like a traditional advent calendar where there was a door covering up the scripture that was labeled with the number. Now I am trimming out some clear sticker paper because it's nice and strong and I'm using it to create a hinge for my door. So the label paper will make sure it's nice and strong and then the washi tape just reinforces the door and you can see it creates a hinge so that it can open and close and then you secure it right under the bottom of that red circle that's on each tag. Now I've added adhesive to the back and I'm going to add some strength to the whole thing by mounting it on some colored cardstock and trimming it out. It'll be a nice matte look because it'll have the edge of color around. It'll provide color on the back. And again, like I said, adding some strength to the card. I printed this embellishment sheet on clear sticker paper and it's a great way to be able to use these images. They're a little bit large when you print them as is, but when I print it on clear sticker paper, you can see through. So it doesn't matter if it covers up the scripture a little bit because you can see right through it. So it's kind of a neat effect on those tags. And then I will just stamp the number on the top. That's a stamp set from By the Well for God called Naomi's Numbers, nice and simple in bold. This is my We Are Memory Keepers Cropodile, and what it is is a hole puncher and eyelet setter. So you punch a hole and then you use the main part of the tool to put your eyelet in and then it crunches it down. And I use that to just reinforce the holes so that they would be strong on the tag ring. I am adding trim to each tag using this red score tape. So I'll pull it off. It's a super strong adhesive, works great for adding trim. You can see I just stick it here on the back and we'll trim it off right here on the side. And this card is done. I'll be able to add it straight to my ring. 
And then I just follow the same procedure for every card. This definitely can be an assembly line type uh, project to work on because it's the same procedure. You can add different embellishments. You could leave the back of the card blank to add maybe some journaling, some scripture. If you're not doing this for your kids, maybe you are wanting to have a place for prayer scripture or um, something like that. So this is very customizable. I like the size of these tags. You can of course use them as actual gift tags. I think they're so beautiful. I would definitely print them on cardstock if I was going to do that because the 32 pound paper is great for using in your Bible and in your projects because it doesn't add too much bulk. But you can see that the reason I mounted mine onto cardstock was to add that extra strength. I really like the idea of this kind of portable advent ring because my family's actually traveling over the holidays a little bit. So we're headed to see other family members mid-December and so I don't want to have to leave our advent calendar at home. This way we can easily take it with us in the car, in the hotel, things like that and not miss a day of study and I think it'll be a fun kind of tradition to start with my kids and like I said before a really great way to start our day by kind of reviewing these scriptures in the morning. I definitely just eyeballed the matting of each tag, just trimming out around it, leaving, I don't know, maybe like an eighth of an inch, just not very much color peeking out, but just enough to add a little bit of um, brightness to it. I love this red score tape. This is the first project that I've ever used it on and I'm so excited. I bought some that was a little bit too thick so you can see I'm trimming it in half right here and I'll save the other piece for the next tag. Um, I didn't want the adhesive sticking out from behind the trim, but this was such a fabulous way to add adhesive. It's what I'm going to be doing on all my paper projects from now on. I can't believe that I had never tried this tape before. It is absolutely fabulous. I also had fun playing with a lot of the different eyelets I had in my stash. Just make sure that the eyelets that you choose are big enough to handle the ring that you're going to put all of your tags on. My ring was a little bit thick because it was a pretty big ring, so I had to make sure I used the bigger eyelets. Okay, here is the final product. I am super excited about it. So I have 24 different tags for Advent. The plan is to open these in the morning at the breakfast table to read with the family. You can see it slips right underneath that little circle and it has the scripture underneath it and then we can talk about it just a little bit. Have all the numbers. I love the colors. They're unexpected Christmas colors, which is so fun. And I think it's just a fun project, a fun way to kind of bring Advent in in a different way with your kiddos. I think they're going to have fun flipping through the tag book. I think they're going to be excited about who gets to open the tag that day. We'll probably take it off the ring, pass it around, that kind of thing. And I got to use up some fun bits of my stash. So all in all, I would call it a very successful, fun project. Definitely one that would be fun to make kind of as a gift too for another family that you know that would be a lot of fun to do as well. So that is my advent tag set. Thank you so much for joining me today. I will make sure to link all the supplies I use down below. So make sure to check that out if you're interested, um, especially in this tinsel tag set from Kelly Bangs. I hope that you have a fabulous day and as always, keep it creative.